The overall goal of this procedure is to study the phenotypic consequences of mesenchymal epithelial transitions in sarcomas. This method can help answer key questions about why epithelial-like sarcomas have superior outcomes relative to sarcomas that are more mesenchymal-like. The main advantage of this technique is that it provides an easy, reproducible means to study downstream gene regulatory networks and phenotypes associated with mesenchymal epithelial transitions in sarcomas. By better understanding phenotypic plasticity in sarcomas, we hope to identify therapeutic interventions that will enable us to shift sarcomas toward a more indolent, epithelial-like state. Demonstrating the procedure will be two undergraduates in our laboratory, Jackson Shu and Shivi Gilja. On the first day of the transduction, plate 3 times 10 to the 5th HEC293T cells in each of two wells of a 6-well plate in 2 milliliters of supplemented DMAM. Incubate the plate at 37 degrees Celsius with 5% carbon dioxide. After culturing overnight, examine the cells under a microscope. They should be 40 to 60% confluent. Next, in separate tubes containing 200 microliters of serum-free medium with 1.8 micrograms of P-delta-8.9 and 0.2 micrograms of PCMVVSVG helper plasmids, dilute 2 micrograms of the empty vector and 2 micrograms of the vector containing GRHL2. In another tube, dilute 4 microliters of a lipid-based transfection reagent in 200 microliters of serum-free medium per transfection.